so let's go to start demo first so this is same series of uh, fluent ui with blazor and curd operation now in this session we'll implement that view and in this view we'll use the you know layout of how we can use the layout of fluent ui so once i click that view you will see the very good and nice look feel uh template over there okay which we'll use with the flint ui and also we have the we use that you know header and header also we mentioned that back button so once you click back it go back to your you know list page and once i click again another view so definitely it will go to your next uh, blog and in this blog also we have uh, we have retrieve our uh, data like author what is the blog name and what is the description so this will be implement so before the proceeding this one i'm especially recommend if you first time visit in my channel so please go to my channel which is a uh, .NET real world example and in this uh, channel actually you have to go through first you know how what is that fluent ui how we can set up and then how we can bind the grid and then how we can you know a reuse create the reuse component with this you know add edit functionality and uh, finally also we have covered in this uh, series like delete operation and with this nice feel uh, dialog box as well with confirmation so let's get to start implementation so I will take same example which already I have covered and all the functionality we have implement over here if you record you can take it from my uh, github link which I will mention in my description okay and so first what you need to do first I need to create you know uh, one uh, reusable component that is called uh, blob details component so then just create a first component let me add a create a razor component and here let's call blob blog details and just add once you add you have to write some design okay and what design i have to use here i will use a uh, one plint layout okay so how we can use that so first of all you just need to write this you know fill into your layout and just set at whatever style you margin you just i just leave it you know from top to 10 pixels and just close this and this is close okay and inside this i will just create you know our section so i already show in the demo i have used in you know, a one header section right so we have also provide fill into ui one header component so i will use that header component again here and then close this and inside this header i'll just show uh that uh, that you know text and also that button right so that text and button i need to write over here so in this case what i will do use i will use another uh, component of fluent ui that is called spacer okay so in this space are actually give them some space so that whatever i can write on the header that will give the some space and then finally i will add uh one text over here okay and this is called a block details and then after again i will put some another space so that call like this same whatever i did and then finally i record a button so how we can create again i will use that fill on ui button over inside this header so once it's done see it is very uh, simple and straightforward let me wrap it over here okay so see i just create a button fill on ui button and i click a on click of function over here and i use that background color and appearance and uh, icons so these three things i already uh, covered many uh, many of the place in this series so it is just simple uh, component of for that fluent ui button so this this is expect actually what are the background color and you know, these are the properties over here which i mentioned and as of now we have not implement this function uh, let me implement that one first so that no compilation error so first i will do i'll just create that function over here so let's call that back back to block list so that whatever you know 
click that back button i will go back to over here so this back button actually should have a you know callback function so that i can use in our parent component right so what i need to do again just i need to create a click event okay callback function over here it is again is a blazor concept it is not part of flint ui but yeah it is i just create a you know back to block click event as a callback function and this callback function actually i call inside this click event i just invoke this click event uh, callback function okay and then finally it's completed for this header section okay now if you go back to our layout so this header section is completed now we have to show some image and also some details right so see i have used some uh what is called is it is called some you know uh, something uh, for example card this is a card view right so that card actually i need to show uh, i need to create some card so also i will use again the fluent ui card so let me use that card so this is card fluent ui card component and just close this fluent ui card component and inside this card component i need to create some you know uh some of the style which is actually show the body okay so inside i need to create this card component i need to create a one body section so that whatever body i just need to write i can just you know show over there so this is done for the body and then finally what i need to do i need to show one image right so i need to create one div so that whatever our image i can bind it inside this div okay and this as of now i am not implement this i'll just implement once i design is complete then i'll just create this uh, blob view blog uh, entity and view mo blog model as well we call say okay and then rest of things i need to implement over here uh, this is done for this uh, image and then rest also i need to bind it our data for like what is the blob name what is the author and what is the date time just for the example and also like the description so that is fine now i just need to create that uh, view model so inside this code block i just created to view model so now is view model is there let me import the namespace of the view model so let me import over here directly i think it is not working why it's not working i don't know but yeah it should be work right but it is not working no issue but we are inside is is uh, using fluent ui our namespace with the model so let me add it over top at the rate using and uh, fluent ui card of pressure card option and where is it it is inside my view model so let's add our body here and then accept this everything is there right so uh, previously once i created this model uh, that model view model so we don't have that author uh, author part right so see the other part is missing so that i can also add it over here just for demonstration perspective so that i can show the full blog informations so i just add it over here author and finally uh error has been gone right so also the implementation of this design also completed one more thing i have to implement over here this component actually this is reusal component right so it should be visible uh flag over here based on this i can show that should be visible or not right from the parent component so what i can need to do i just simply add uh the property over here and we have to wrap it inside this if condition so let me wrap it from here and close it to complete design part so that is completed for here okay so now we have to we have created this you know uh this design a block details component uh just created usual component and this will use inside this uh parent component let's call it the home component right so go to that home component over here 
and let's me let's call this one and uh, it is simple we can call it over here as as like b before we have already be called right we have called like add block component data grid component add edit component similar i need to call this one so let me call it over here and just wrap it to this let me call it to blog details component see this is a blog detail components and uh, this field uh, this input para per parameter also i need to uh, create it over here so let me call let me create this input input field as a private field over here so that we can show uh, we can handle it should be show or visible that reusable component so that is done also this is an input which i need to handle over here on this click event once i click this backlist uh, this backlist also it should be call this function which already i created previously right and one more thing i have to do over here uh i have to manage this is true which i is false right by default is false so what i can do i need to implement something inside this reset visibility right because by default it should be false so let me add it over here as a false and then once i click that inside that go to back here like see this is a click event of this you know grid component right so we have to create this function so that that uh, callback function will call and we can set its true and based on the true and false we will show our another component right as like we have used here delete add it and here so what i can do just create yeah it's already is there a view view click to event over there now let me go to the function go to that function where is that function yes uh this is function and if i click okay let me run and let me first build so that whatever implementation we have done let me see uh, is there any error or not okay so let's confirm okay now it succeed and let's run this because uh, in previous session we already implement this view click event and this view click event it will show up some message on that you know dialog box right so that dialog box what i can do i just remove this dialog box over here so first of all what i need to do i need to call our service okay and look like this okay so i need to call our service the service name which we have inject this is that one because one that view also once i click that view i will get that whatever id right and then based on the id we have to fetch the data from the db and db or you can call say our service repository so they will returning the data of that block service block details and then what i need to do i simply just convert it to see this return actually that uh, domain entity right so that i need to convert to model entity so let me convert it to over here but yeah ideally uh, i just use uh, for demonstration perspective it's simple but yeah we can use imapper and other uh, mechanism also right so let's make it simple as of now just i convert it to is our view model and assign to our whatever input uh, parameter so this is input parameter and just pass it to over here and finally what i can do i can call that function uh, that reset component as well as show view true right so that once i click that view show should be true so i hope it sh should work now let me open and then once i click now it's running uh, perfectly and also we can get you know that header section and also we can get image as well as that block details with this uh, card right the card 
and but here's the one problem we can see you know there's a many uh, labels over there we should not show over here as well as one more things is that style right the image is very weak so how we can fix it so what i can do see i just create a one class that image container but that image container we have to create you know some style over there so what i can do simply uh you have to go to solution go to that uh double root folder here that app.cs file and here what you can do just add one more style over here just save it go back see once you done the image one is fix but yeah these are things we have to fix over here so go back again to that component where is our component it's a block little component see i i have to remove this one because we don't require this one also we have seen some other place like add component and those component right so go to that pages and add block component also just remove this unnecessary we don't require those levels and uh, what was the last one go to that this is also fine there is no issue for that and that go to solution uh, block details that is fine grid components yes so this one also we can get it from here save it go back now go back it's clean now click see there is no other extra labels over there it's perfectly binding and also we are getting the data as well as functionality also is working so this is complete for this uh, you know card operation but yeah we'll create another session where actually i can uh, i can create uh, this uh, fluent ui with you know insert update delete with together so that you know you can't miss like any things uh, in one shot right so see i i just have created many many you know instead of the delete add and delete everything is right so that also i will create a one session so that uh, you can go through step by step for this one session as well so as of now uh thank you uh, for watching have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share